doing? How do we know that this light is affecting directly mitochondria and not operating in a slightly different way? Well, this this came to me, um, and this is a genuine story, cycling home uh, a long hill to get home in the rain. And I'd listened to a radio program, and that radio program was talking about the crisis that bees have got with insecticide. And the insecticide that the bees were being given induced what was fundamentally Parkinson's disease. Now, as a great scientist, John Metrophanes, have been working on Parkinson's disease for ages in uh, primates uh, and on towards humans. And he pointed out to me that this insecticide undermines specifically mitochondria, nothing else. It undermines mitochondria and produces Parkinson-like symptoms. Parkinson's disease is a mitochondrial disease. So that started a very, very different line of research for us, where we started buying honey, um, bumblebee hives. Um, and we, 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 then did very, very simple experiments to show that it was the mitochondria that was being affected. The insecticide we used was imaclaprid, which is really brutal insecticide. It stays in the ground for absolutely ages, uh, very difficult to get rid of, quite cheap. And so if we look at how mobile an animal is, when it's been given the insecticide, we can see it becomes very immobile. It starts to look really unhealthy compared to a healthy animal, and it just slows right down. If we if we give the imaclaprid with the 670 a burst of red light, you can see the first, first couple of days, it's not very happy. It's a bit hungover, but he has improved very significantly very different from the animal that has just had the poison. So the poison is being blocked or the poison is being cor is correcting the disease that is inducing the Parkinson type symptoms. And lifespan, we can do exactly the same with the lifespan of the bee that we did with the fly. So if we look at the number of bees that su survive once they've had the amaclaprid, uh, at the, you know, the numbers go, numbers dive down. If we give the amaclaprid with the 670, we correct that. We correct it. We're only giving amaclaprid in a little, we're only giving the red light in a small period, but we can recover them. But here's the really interesting thing. And, and we're still talking about this today, even though this study was published some time ago. And that is, OK, if we just give the animals red light, no imaclaprid, just give them red light, nothing else. OK, they're doing very well, doing very well. But the red light stops. And even when the red light stopped, the animals are surviving much longer again. Absolute lifespan doesn't change, but the middle aged bees are doing so much better. So does that mean that if we can catch our mitochondria as they're starting to fail, let's say we catch our mitochondria when we're 40, if we give them a big burst of light at 40, is that enough? Is that one exposure, maybe for a few weeks of red light, enough to sail us through the period when we have middle age cell loss. That's something we're really working on at the moment. But this had consequences. It had consequences for America because in parts of America, so much insecticide has been used, particularly in Northern California, that um, there are very, very few pollinators, very few pollinators. So when you've got a crop, it's very, very difficult for you to progress with that crop because the flowers are not being pollen pollinated. So uh, in Texas and in Florida, there are companies that truck vast numbers of beehives up towards Northern California and the lorries stop there and they open them up and the bees come out and they pollinate. Well, you know, this, this is a, a very, it seems like a sledgehammer to crack a nut, but it works. The downside is 
those bee about 40 percent of those beehives just don't make it back to florida or to texas um it's super it, you know it's stressful stressful for me to be in a car to drive from florida to northern california um but then to ask me to go there do a job and take me back again it's stressful it's very stressful for the bees so a company called bee futures we have no economic interest is now putting red lights in those trucks and i understand the uh the bee loss is very much reduced we've reduced the stress in the bee population because we've improved their mitochondria. Uh, 